Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining the Hingham Ferry Dock Improvements Public Meeting. We are going to be getting started in a couple minutes, just letting some people sign on. Again, welcome to our public meeting on the Hingham Ferry Dock Improvements Project. We'll be getting started in just one minute. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Uh, my name is Katie Zazera. I am the Deputy Director of Capital Coordination here at the MBTA, and I'm very happy to welcome you to this update on the Hingham Ferry Dock Improvements Project. I'm joined by Sharon Cranston, who is the Project Manager and will be giving the bulk of this presentation along with the rest of the Hingham Ferry Dock team. I need to do a few housekeeping things before we get started. Next slide, please. If you would like to turn on closed captioning for tonight's presentation, please click on closed caption on your control panel. You can adjust the size of the caption by clicking the arrow next to the start stop video Click the video settings, then accessibility, and move the slider to adjust the caption size as needed. Next slide, please. All MBTA activities, including public meetings, are free of discrimination. The MBTA complies with all federal and state civil rights requirements preventing discrimination on the basis of race, color, national origin, limited English proficiency, and additional protected characteristics. We welcome the diversity from across our entire service area. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit www.mbta.com slash title VI to reach the Office of Diversity and Civil Rights. Next slide, please. If you have a technical question about Zoom or the features of tonight's meeting, please use the chat function. Our technical assistant will attempt to troubleshoot your problem and help you the best they can. Next slide, please. We will be having a question and answer period at the end of the presentation where you will be free to make verbal or provide a written comment. Um, I will be going over these instructions at the end, but just to prepare, if you would like to give a verbal comment, you can click the raise hand function and I will call out your name to have you unmuted so you can offer your verbal comment or question. If you would prefer to type, just write in the chat and the moderator um, will make sure that I am able to see it and I will read your question aloud as well as who submitted the question. Here's the agenda for tonight's public meeting. We'll begin with a project overview along with the existing conditions of the Hingham Ferry Dock. We'll then talk about proposed improvements and updates since the 30% design. We'll take a look at the anticipated design and construction schedule and provide contact information for the project. Following that, we'll have our question and answer period. And with that, I would like to turn it over to our project manager, Sharon Cranston. Good evening. My name is Sharon Cranston, and I am the MBTA project manager for Hingham Ferry Dock Improvements. 
The total budget for this project is $25 million and is currently at 75% design. The benefits of this improve, improvement project include a new, fully accessible ferry dock, the replacement and extension of the walkway connecting the Hingham Intermodal Center and the dock, the replacement and extension of canopies over the walkway, and increased ferry capacity and operational flexibility. Next slide, please. This slide shows the existing conditions. You can see that the current walkway, canopies, and structures have been impacted by weather and other environmental conditions. The, the ferry dock itself lacks vessel capacity, and currently there's not fully accessible access to the barge at all tides. The current facility also lacks accessibility for passenger transfer onto the ferries. Here we are looking at an overlay of the proposed layout over the existing ferry dock. From the Hingham uh, Intermodal Center, there will be concrete stairs and walkways leading to a reconstructed walkway at grade, which will be covered by a canopy highlighted in red. The blue shows the pile supported walkway with canopy that will be constructed using weather and environment resistant aluminum. The purple highlighted area shows the new accessible gangway and finally, we have the new barges with aluminum platforms highlighted in green. The proposed layout for the new dock will allow for the MBTA to accommodate necessary vessels more efficiently. The new dock will allow for three side berths and one bow loading berth. We will meet ADA, MAAB, and MBTA standards and the barge's flexibility of use will allow for berths to accommodate multiple types of vessels and a combination of vessels. The current H Hingham ferry dock only allows for ferries to load along the side of the dock. The proposed design allows for bow loading vessels to more at the end of the dock, which will allow for more efficient passenger embarking and disembarking using the special bow loading berth. The flexibility of the barge design allows for different loading heights, so the dock will be able to accommodate any vessel in the MBTA fleet. The new 120 foot long accessible gangway will look like the one seen here on the screen. A covered non-slip aluminum deck equipped with side curtains similar to the existing gangway. Since the 30% design that we presented to you, we've made some significant design changes. Of particular note, we have changed from a single barge design to a segmented three barge design. We have refined the walkways to be compatible with DCR's use of their property. We have also eliminated all intertidal dredging to reduce the environmental impact of the project. To further reduce the environmental impacts relating to pile driving, we have changed the walkway from pile supported to long span aluminum bridges connecting to piers. We are uh, currently working with our various partners on the necessary permitting for this project. We expect to reach 100% design in the spring of 2024 and hope to award a construction contract in the fall of 2024. Our current anticipated schedule has construction beginning late 2024. The proposed plans for this project will allow for accom the accommodation of construction sequencing to be broken out into four phases while maintaining full service throughout construction. Phase one consists of procuring a new dock. Phase two, demolish the old dock. Phase three, is when we will establish a rerouted pedestrian path, and phase four is the closeout of the project. Construction is expected to take 18 to 24 months. Katie? Thank you so much, Sharon. 
Uh, as a reminder, for those of you who have not been to one of our meetings or interacted with the project before, we do have a project inbox that sends out updates as they come. It is Hingham Ferry Dock at mbta.com. If you have a question or comment you are not able to ask tonight or have follow-ups, please feel free to reach out to that email address is regularly monitored. And if you would like to get any more information on the project, um, this deck will be sent out to all attendees. Um, and it will also be available at the project website, www.mbta.com slash Hingham Ferry Doc. Next slide, please. So again, we've come to the Q&A portion of our evening. As a reminder, if you would like to make a verbal comment, go ahead and click on the raise hand function and I will call out your name to have you unmuted. Um, if you would prefer to type in a question, I, I see we had one come in from Joe Fisher about the slides. Um, you will be receiving these via email and they will be downloadable on the website. Uh, but again, just type in that chat box. Um, so I'm going to wait and see if we have any questions coming in. Um, I did also want to make a note, um, my apologies, I meant to mention this at the beginning, that this meeting is being recorded. Um, so by being on this meeting, you are consenting to being recorded. My apologies um, for not raising that sooner. Uh, so we have a couple of questions in the chat. Um, Joe Fisher asks, will ferry service be disrupted during construction? No, it won't be. By constructing the new dock um, and then in phase one and then demolishing the uh, existing dock in phase two, we are able to maintain service throughout construction. Okay. Um, Paul Bacus asks, will ferry service continue to run during construction? Similar question. Uh, I see Gavin Potter has his hand raised. Um, can we unmute Gavin, please? All right, Gavin, we should be able to hear you. Hi, this is um, Gavin's mom talking on his behalf. I want to say hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, so hi, Gavin. Gavin, Gavin's in a wheelchair. And um, one of the things that we think about when we take him to the ferry right now is how much sometimes there's an incline to come in and off the ferry depending on the tide. And I'm wondering if this new design is going to always mean that we have a more flat um, a path to get in and out of the ferry because when there's a big incline, pushing a wheelchair up or down would be very difficult. Absolutely. So the current ferry dock is sometimes accessible based on the tide. Um, the new dock, one of the primary um, uh, reasons for this design is to make sure that it is accessible at all tides. So uh, that's why we have a 120 foot long gangway uh, and uh, that gives us the ability to maintain an ADA comp uh, compliance slope on that gangway even at low tide. Um, additionally, th there are several different ramp configurations. So there will be an ADA compliant ramp to every boarding uh, level, depending for every vessel that we could be using at this dock. Okay, I'm going to go back to uh, some written questions. Ruth Ann Stiles asks, why is the dredging no longer required? There will be some dredging. It will be outside of the intertidal uh, zone. It will all be in um, areas that are always underwater. This is important from an environmental um, uh, perspective because the intertidal zone is where we have a lot of, of the concerns about environmental impacts. Um, in order to do that, we have adjusted where the bar barge is going to be in the water um, and therefore where the boats are going to be berthed. Okay. Um... Nate D asks, will the barge walkway be covered as well? And have you looked at utilities 
shore power, water, lighting on the barge? The uh, walkway will be covered um, down to the end of the gangway, but on the barge itself, it won't be covered. However, one of the major modifications we've made to the uh, um, the design since our 30% is we have made the steel barge shallower and added a two foot aluminum decking on top. And this allows us to create a utility corridor inside the barge. And that will uh, allow us to provide water and power hookups to all four berths on, uh, on the dock. And it's also going to allow us to have a, a sewer pump. Uh, there, everything will be well lit in compliance with MBTA standards, which is above uh, the code requirements. Okay. Um, Bill Burke asks, is consideration being given to the Harbor Master's suggested modifications? And I'm actually going to direct this question to Tess Paganelli, who is the MBTA's Director of Environmental Review and Permitting. Hi, Bill. Yes, I think I can answer that question. Um, we have received comments from the Harbor Master and we are working through them now. So yes, we are taking that into consideration. Okay. Um, another question uh, from Ruth Ann Stiles. We live by the current ferry dock. Will the noise during the construction only occur during certain hours? That is a bit of a challenge. We are constrained by um, two major things when it comes to construction. One is time of year restrictions. We can only do in water work for a very uh, limited period of time in order to comply with our environmental permitting and not disrupt the aquatic life. Um, and we are also complied, or confined by the tides. So we will do our best to limit noise um, outside of regular working hours, but there will be times when we do need to have some construction work happening at, happening at night, simply because of when the tides are and the limited duration of when we can be working in the water. Okay, and she she also, her, her question was in two parts. Will the new ferry dock accommodate rising sea levels anticipated with global warming? Yes, we have designed the floor of the walkway to be above the 2060 uh, high flood elevation. Um, while 2060 is not necessarily the farthest horizon, it does put the floor of that higher than the floor of the Hingham Intermodal Facility. And if we were to raise it any higher, it becomes a problem maintaining the ADA compliance slope on the gangway. Okay, um, we have a question from Patricia Flynn. I live at Hewitt's Landing, the closest condo association impacted by this construction. Would you be willing to attend a condo association meeting to review this with the owners, please? We only learned of this meeting today. Um, so Patricia, if you could in, um, in the comments provide the best contact information you have. I know we did reach out to several residents in the condo. We were not able to provide a flyer, um, but that is certainly something we can talk about offline. That is the end of the questions that I see written and I see no raised hands. So again, I wanna give it a minute so that everybody is able to put in their comments. Um, as a reminder, what you see on the screen is the project email address, um, hinghamferrydoc at mbta.com. And also again, the project website, www.mbta.com slash hinghamferrydoc. Okay, and we have a comment from Joe Fisher. Again, um, on behalf of the Hingham Select Board, we welcome the MBTA's commitment to ferry service on the South Shore. Um, well, we are very happy to provide it. So we appreciate your support and we're very excited about this project. Okay, and um, Patricia, I did get the email in the, uh, in the chat. So I will go ahead and make sure that the project team reaches out. 
Any other questions or comments at this time? Okay, well, we will, we will keep tonight's meeting short and sweet. Again, uh, for those of you who are attending right now, you will be emailed a version of the deck tomorrow, likely. And we will also make it available on the project website. Uh, if you are not already subscribed to our email list and would like to be, please reach out to HinghamFerryDoc at MBTA.com. And thank you so much for joining. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening.